You know, I think the first time I ever set up a WordPress website was like 2008. <laughs> it was a lot more complicated back then. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through how simple and easy it is to set up your web hosting and install WordPress for your blog. So if we haven't met yet, my name is Meredith and this is the VidPro Mom YouTube channel where I'm usually creating tutorials to help you create better videos so that you can grow your audience and income online. But right now, we're diving headfirst into the step-by-step -step blog setup because I think it's just as important for video content creators to be publishing blog posts as well because Google and YouTube are a match made in heaven. So before we dive in, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below this video and also grab my step-by-step -step blog setup checklist down in the description below so that you can follow along because you don't wanna miss any of these steps and then regret it later. So let's dive into setting up your web hosting and your WordPress site. Now, if you've been following along during this blog setup series, you know that in the very last video, I showed you exactly how to find where to buy and how to set up your own domain name so you can have your own website like yourname.com. So if you have missed that video completely, I'll put a link up above here so that you can watch that before we dive into installing WordPress or you can hit the link down in the description. But since we already have our domain name set up here with Namecheap, we're gonna start right off with getting our hosting set up. Up at the top, we're gonna go to Managed WordPress, which means this is going to be pretty streamlined for installing and managing a WordPress website. The prices are really, really affordable. Now this is different than setting up a blog at wordpress.com where you create an account and you set up a blog and it's wordpress.com's own platform. This is using, basically using WordPress's um, software, but on your own hosting company on your own server. And this is the way that you definitely want to go. So we're gonna go with a uh, bill. Let's do a bill yearly for 22 bucks. Gosh, that's like a no brainer. So 22 bucks renews for $30 a year by clicking get starter. You agree to our terms and conditions. All right, we're gonna do this. And we're just gonna go with this starter for right now. Looks like we have up to 50,000 visitors a month, which is plenty <laughs> for getting started with a brand new site. I'm going to use my payment information that's already saved. So we're gonna walk through this together, but we already have a domain. So we're going to locate it, vidprohero.com, and we're gonna hit continue. Your new WordPress website will be live at vidprohero.com. Create WordPress website. Yes, let's create the WordPress website. So this is going to automatically install WordPress on our hosting platform. App will replace current site and all of its subdomains. Okay, we don't have a current site there or anything, so that's fine. We're gonna hit confirm. So it says that our uh, website is live. Our WordPress credentials can be found in our email. Let's see if that is true. Easy WordPress. Congratulations, Meredith, your website is ready. So um, save this email when you get it because you're going to want to access these things. Um, so it already gave me a username. It gave me a password. What we need to do is actually log into the back end of WordPress. I'm going to click on this and this is going to allow you to log into WordPress. So this is the back end of WordPress, a, a basic WordPress install. This is version 5.3.2. It's really, really important that you keep your WordPress up to date by hitting please update now. They continuously make improvements to the software, but also security improvements. So if you get the notice that you need to update, you should always update. And then also just take note that what you see when you watch this video, it may look different on the back end because sometimes the back end changes too. Through your host, you should be able to back up your database. So um, we'll do fresh install 
one twenty six twenty twenty. So you would want to go in there and do that. So let's dive into plugins. This one right here, Hello Dolly. You can delete this. It's totally useless. So I always delete it. The Akismet Anti-Spam, I always use this and I'm gonna hit update now. So in order to activate this, you have to have a key, which is just like a code. And I don't know if you can still get a free key. I have a key from forever ago, but um, you'll have to look into that. This prevents people from basically spamming the comments of your site. So we're all set with that. I'm gonna go back over here to plugins. I went down to add new. We're gonna go to pretty link. This one, short links by pretty links. So we're going to hit install now. This is what it looks like. I have the paid version of this. You won't need it when you're just setting up your blog. So we're gonna hit activate. So we're all set with this, it's all activated. So we also want Yoast, this one right here. Again, there's a paid version of Yoast and there's a free version. I actually use the paid version, but the free version is fine. You're gonna like the free version as well. It's really, um, it's necessary. <laughs> duplicate paid, duplicate post Enrico. So we're gonna install this. Create by media vine. That would be this just to get started. So we'll hit activate. All right, so here is, here's our plugins on our site. They're all active. Pretty Links is just telling us like, hey, you should upgrade to the pro version. You don't have to upgrade to the pro version. What Pretty Links does is, and I highly, highly recommend doing this as your very first link. So it's a redirection plugin, but it's it's designed so that you can create a pretty link instead of a long, ugly link. So, you know, when you first start a YouTube channel and you don't have your shortened URL, like vidpromom.com slash, no, like youtube.com slash vidpromom, um, and you just have that long string of characters, and it's actually sometimes hard to remember. It's sometimes hard to find your YouTube link. So if someone on, you know, Facebook or something says, oh, it's a link to your YouTube channel, here you have it set up so that you can just, you can type in your website.com slash YouTube and it will just redirect to your YouTube channel. You don't even have to think about it and you barely even have to remember it. So basic WordPress settings. What I want to do is go into under settings and then general. And I just want to walk you through some of these things here. Um, so the name of our site is VidPro Hero time zone we can put in our time zone here what am i minus five i believe and hit save changes so you definitely want to update your time zone uh because when you like say if you were going to schedule a post then you'd want it to be scheduled at the time that you think you're scheduling it for under writing you don't have to do anything here let's go to reading make sure that you're not you don't you're not discouraging search engines from indexing the site. You do want search engines to do that. So make sure this is not checked here. And then under discussion, I'm actually going to remove the ability to comment on posts. So allow people to submit comments on new posts. We're going to uncheck that. I'm going to uncheck pingbacks and trackbacks. Um, there we go. I'm just not much of a comment on blog post type of a person. At this point, I think you end up having more spam than real comments, at least for me. Uh, we're gonna leave this here for media. Permalinks, we want to come down here and make sure that under common settings, you have post name is selected. So permalinks are, if I hit one of these, then this right here, this is this is the link, right, for this page. Background music for social media. What we don't have here is 2020 dash one dash. WordPress used to be set up that way by default, but we don't want to have the date. We want it to be 
post name. We didn't change anything, but we're gonna hit save changes. Hey, that wasn't too hard, was it? We got your WordPress site set up. We have your hosting set up. We got your basic WordPress settings set up. There's probably a couple things that you wanna to do to it now because it probably doesn't look exactly the way that you were hoping that it would. And that's okay, because we're gonna cover that in the very next video which I have queued up for you right here. We're gonna customize that WordPress 2020 theme and get it all looking nice and branded. So you can click here to watch that now and don't forget about the checklist that you can download. Stay tuned and make sure you hit that subscribe button.